Southeastern Massachusetts at about 19 and graduated from Emerson College in 02 with a BA in audio engineering and a minor in music production. She was the first woman to be 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 And Grace is going to be one of the features um, in June. Chris Weinrich. I thank you all for coming tonight. Um, I want to thank you, Sheila, for the introduction. I also want to thank Sean for uh, putting this whole lineup together. I'm really excited to be a part of it. I'm sorry you couldn't make it here today. I also want to give a shout out to Dawn Maria Lowe. She was going to be part of this feature today, but unfortunately she couldn't make it. Um, tonight, I'm going to start off with one of my poems from my first chat book, which is called Threshold. And this poem is called She Could Never Have Any Other Name. Grace. Simple elegance or refinement of movements. An act of kindness or goodwill. Divinely given talent or blessing, attractiveness, charm, the free and unmerited favor of God, mercy, clemency, forgiveness. Any fool can figure dictionary pages to pin down definitions of your name like dead butterflies on a plexiglass, but no needle can ever puncture whatever it is behind your eyes that first seems as solid as a child's music box chiming innocence or a stone hanging from a necklace glinting secrets, something held in cupped hands with gentle reverence, only to become swirls of smoke dancing between my fingers. My hands claw through air, catching only echoes of my own footsteps, panty breaths, my desperate clamor to define what is it about you that brings my momentum to a tire screeching traffic jam halt where I turn my head right along with cement angels perched on window ledges. Right along with suit and tie demons standing on cracked sidewalks, right along with them, I turn my head for a chance to behold you. To behold you. And break myself in half over what it would mean to be holding you. Your fragrance, the first fresh air from nicotine, smog, charred lungs, your warm breath, an Indian summer sun ray on the ice where a man's neck meets his shoulder. Circumstance forces fingers through my chest gouging holes, flesh fashioned into valves, molding my trachea into a saxophone. So I inhale your face, I inhale your laughter, I inhale the elegant mechanics in your confident stride, till I exhale minor chord jazz howls in the key of a love supreme unrequited, till I exhale raw riffs that wail through walls, rattling the highball glasses of every bar and nightclub, till I exhale Desert wind, crossroad, blues cries that reverberate between eyelids and tears with the words, if only, if only. All right, and this is, um, this is from my 